Milan, Italy, How Do You Follow Perfection? With the triumph of her last show echoing through everyone's year-end reviews, Donatella Versace didn't even try. For one thing, Versace's men's collections never had any moments as resonant as the supermodel spectaculars that Gianni staged in the 1990s, so she didn't have that legacy moment to draw on again. But that didn't mean her latest effort was a pale reflection. The house of Versace still has plenty of history. The key word there is house. Donatella mentioned a feeling of coming home, which probably confused anyone who assumed that meant via Jezu, which is Versace's spiritual ground zero. She wasn't referring to the show location, she was talking about the designs that Versace has always had on your interiors the upholstery, the curtains, the cushions the lavish silk and devour detailing that defined the way Gianni, a modern fashion emperor, chose to live. And not only imperial plush there were also bracelets forged from common kitchen cutlery. Interior decoration was certainly the way the collection came alive, in the opulent printed pen velvets, carved into second skin sheaths for the women, expanded into puffas for the men, in the fringing and tassels and tiebacks that decorated the clothes in the quilting that felt like comfy cushions, in the clashing plaids that felt a lot baronial, but also a little bit punk. Maybe that was Donatella's love of London coming through.